Hi everyone, I'm JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make flowers made of yarn. They are super fun and easy to make, so the supplies you'll need to make them are a pen or a pencil, and this makes your flower the same size. And if you want to make it a little bit larger, you can use a washable marker. You will also need yarn, and you can use whatever size you want or color you want. And for this one, I used thin yarn and I made it on a pencil. For this one, I used thicker yarn and I made it on a marker. And this is the size difference from the one I made on a pencil and the one I made on a washable marker. And as you can see, the one on the marker is a little bit larger than the one on the pencil. And for this one, I used even thick, thicker yarn and I made it on the marker. You will also need scissors. You can attach a clip, a pin, or even a magnet to the back of them. And you can add a button or a rhinestone or whatever you want to the front of them. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. I'm going to show you how to make it on your pencil, but you can also do the same steps to make it on your pen. And for the color of your yarn, you can either use a multicolor, which I like most because your colors are going to be all different on your petals. But on this one, it's all the same color and I just thought it was very plain. But you can use whatever color you want. So, you're going to take your yarn and you're going to lay it out so that it's longer than your pencil. Just a little bit longer. And then you're going to cut it. So lay it next to your pencil, leave some up at the top here, and we're going to start by placing this underneath, and it's still attached to the rest of my yarn. I'm just taking the yarn, placing it underneath, like that, and I'm going to start right where the eraser holder thing ends, and I'm going to tie this part of the yarn to the rest of it. Pull this up some because you need to make sure that you don't lose it at the end. So tie them in a knot as tight as you can. So tie it twice and then you can cut it off. And then what you're going to do is we're going to be wrapping all the way down. So here are some ways you can do it. You can either turn your pencil like this, but you want to make sure that this goes underneath the yarn that you're going to be twisting around. So you could do it like this, or you can take your yarn on the other side of your, you, and you can take this hand, and you can just wrap it. So I'm going to do it like this. Have my yarn coming out this side. I'm going to wrap it all the way down. So pull out some yarn because you're going to need a lot of it. And you're just going to wrap it down. And don't wrap too tight because you want to be able to slide it off your pencil at the end. So all I'm doing is just wrapping it. Now, since the pencil can't hold all our yarn, we're just going to slide it down some and keep going. Keep pulling out your yarn if you need more. Push it up again if you want to. The more you push it up, the more full your flower is going to be. And remember, please do not wrap it too tight. Because if you do, you'll never be able to get it off your pencil. Now 
Now, once you get to the end, you can just cut off some of it. Make sure it's long enough because you are going to make a knot at the end. And what you're going to do is you're going to open up your last loop that you did, and it's going to pull the yarn in your hand, so just let it pull it. And then you're going to stick it in through that hole, which creates a knot. And then you're going to pull it tight. Like that. Now, you can cup it in your hands like this because once it comes off, you want to make sure that you have all your yarn because you don't want to use and lose any strands. So I'm just going to push this down. And remember to hold your hand out. Pull it off. As it comes off, it's going to stretch out more. And what you're going to do is remember your yarn. You're going to take that yarn that you tied around. Make sure that's separated from the yarn that is under all of it. So that's one strand. And what I'm going to do is put them together like this. You can tie that more tight if it comes apart. And I'm just going to push them down. on both sides. Like that. And what you're going to do is tie them together in a knot. Then we're going to include this one you can put these two together and then tie it because we want it to move to the back of our flower. Then once it's in one knot, you can just cut it all off. Now I'm going to cut them. And there you go, you have a flower. And what you can do is attach a rhinestone in the middle of it, or even a button, with a hot glue gun. And I'm going to attach a rhinestone to mine, and I'll be right back. I just finished gluing a rhinestone to my other flower that I made on the pencil, and now I'm ready to teach you how to make it on the marker. So what you're going to do, again, is make your yarn a little bit larger than your marker. Then you're going to cut it. You're going to lay it next to your marker. And we're going to start on this end. Not the cap end, but the other end. You're going to take your yarn still attached to the rest of your yarn. You're going to lay it on under, like that. And now you're going to tie this end to this end, but make sure that some yarn is left out of it. So tie your yarn. Make a knot. Now you can adjust it. You can push it up more and Pull more from that end. Now you're going to tie it again as tight as you can. In a knot like that. And then you can cut the excess off. Now we're going to start wrapping again. And I like doing it from this side where I can hold my yarn with this hand and wrap with this hand. So I'm going to do that and don't wrap too tight. Just keep wrapping. Then you can push it up and wrap some more. And remember to leave some yarn out from your skein. 
and keep going. Push it up some more. And don't wrap too tight. Now at the end, you can take your yarn, leave some at the end, and then you can cut it. Now you're going to open your last loop up. You're going to stick the end in that loop to create a knot. Pull it tight. And now we can push our yarn off, but we want to make sure that when we push it off, we don't lose any of our strands. So you're just going to pull it. Now we have three ends. So with this, this end, you're just going to pull it. And then with these two ends, you can put them together and pull one side at a time to push the loops down. And then you can tie them into a knot. Pull them tight one more time. And then tie them in a knot one more time. Then with this loop, we want to tie it in the middle. So we're going to take them and group them together and then make some more knots. Now you can cut off all your excess. Move your flower around as much as you want. And remember, you can attach a rhinestone or even a button to it. And I'm going to attach a button and I'll be right back. I just finished gluing the button to my flower. And you can see the size difference from the one on the washable marker and the one on the pencil. And the reason I keep calling it a washable marker is because if you accidentally open up the top when you're pulling it off, at least it's washable and it can come off. And I'm just going to show you some of the ones that I made. And you can use whatever yarn you want, any size, any color. You can pretty much make them your own. You can add a clip, a pin, or even a magnet to the back of them. And they make great gifts for Mother's Day or any day. I hope you enjoyed making yarn flowers. And if you make some, please show me how creative you got with them and what you did with them. My Instagram is CraftLifeUSA, so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're learning a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching. Bye!